Okay, let's work on trying to get these boosters looking like boosters. So first I'm going to try to create a really, really low poly sphere over here. So I'm in vertex mode, shift A, and actually let me go to back view, shift A, and create a six-sided, super low poly because we're going to be subdividing this. So P to separate it off, and then we can just create a really rough shape. Kind of looks like that. Should taper in. All right, and then tab to subdivide it. And you can try Oops. Damn it. I don't know. You can try to make some weird booster type shape. All right. So let's work on the shader for this. Um, first of all, we don't want to be using this one. So let's go down here. We can uh, maybe remove all these materials. Uh, Shift V, remove slot, remove slot, remove slot. All right, let's create a new material called booster. And I'll get rid of that with X. Shift A, shader, emission. Shift A, shader, mix. Shift D, let's make these two actually. Shift A, shader, transparent. So this will go in here, this will go in here, and this will go over here. And if we change this factor here, it should switch from full emission to full transparent, which is not working right now because our blend mode is opaque and we gotta switch this blend mode. You can also find it here under shift V and then change it from opaque to alpha blend. And there we go. So now when we scrub between here, can see that working and we want to control it by angle so let's go shift A and under input you can say for now let's try for now seems to be working let's switch those two Z shade smooth control B toggle cutters I'm going to deselect everything for a second. What if we switch these? I'm going to try a different one. Shift A, input, layer weight, facing. I like that one a lot better. Can adjust the shape like this. You can get like inverted weird stuff. That's what I was trying to do over here, but I don't think it's working that well. could also try instead of alpha blend let's try additive 
think that works well to additive under blend mode. Okay. And uh, we can control the color of our booster using this layer weight also. So let's duplicate that, plug that into color. Now it's fading between black and white right here, but if I go shift A, search color ramp, super duper uber color ramp. This thing works for everything. All right, let's get some color going on. Go like white towards the center. One more keyframe in here. Let's make this one like white right in the middle. And as we change the shape of this, it will uh, affect. Guess that's kind of odd. <laughs> uh, and actually, I want to. Hmm. We're going to animate this kind of jiggling around like that. So I'm going to move this in object mode so that the pink center is about there. So I'm in object mode. And now I'm switching back to faces right about here. So that way when we scale this thing in object mode, like jitter it like that, we can get that moving properly. And what else do we need? Strength can probably go here. Hmm. All right, I think we need to skip the color ramp for strength. And then these guys are going to animate a little bit. So let me go to the object settings over here, object properties, scale. We are scaling it in the Y direction, right? So let's keyframe the scale in Y. Go to our graph editor. Press N to bring up the side panel. Modifiers, add noise and then play with period. Let's maybe increase the strength of that to like 0.2.
Okay, great. There's our boosters. Let's give this a save, and I'll see you in the next video.